A sort of fresh start in Shadowkeep is coming in September. Season of Opulence is here. That's pretty good. So if you click this video, you're probably wondering, well, hmm, should I get back into Destiny? This is easily the number one question I get asked on a near daily basis. Should I come back to Destiny Datto? Is it worth coming back to Destiny Datto? And the answer is, it really depends. It depends on a lot of factors that no one has any context to because they're all reasons specific to you watching this video. It depends because I don't know what your time is worth and what you value in Destiny. That is the extent of this video. If you're wondering about game quality, I would say that the game is currently the best it has ever been in the grand scheme of things. Shadowkeep is looking to dive deeper into RPG stats and RPGifying the game, which is why I assume I've seen such a renewed interest in the game recently. As a whole, the game hasn't drastically changed, it's still about grinding to max level and raiding and farming weapons and armor, and yet on more specific levels, it has changed significantly since Destiny 2 launched in 2017, like random roles returning, the triumph and title system, and much, much more. If the last time you played was Destiny 2 Year 1, so that's the base game, Curse of Osiris, or Warmind, then things have gotten much better. Curse of Osiris was probably the game's lowest point in a while. Forsaken is the best expansion the game has ever seen, and if it's not, it's really darn close with Taken King. I think Forsaken is better. Forsaken added random roles, new subclass trees, revamped weapon system, exotics, new campaign, multiple destinations, triumphs and collections tab, and more. If you played Destiny 2 at launch, and then played nothing else, you will get Curse of Osiris and Warmind for free in September. They're not really gonna be relevant when Shadowkeep is out, but hey, you know, free stuff, right? If the last time you played was Forsaken, but before the annual pass updates and additions, then things have gotten slightly better from there. Season of Opulence is the current season, and the Menagerie, which is a six-man match-made activity in Season of Opulence, is, in my opinion, the best of the three new activities we've gotten with the annual pass that revolve around farming weapons and armor. The raid is also very good, as you might expect. Season of the Drifter was the annual pass's low point, not because of the quality of the content, which was mainly focused on the Drifter and Gambit and Gambit Prime, which is a Gambit variant, but because people just really didn't want to play Gambit for three months. If you're wondering if there is a way to catch up in power levels, there is. You can get to 690 power in maybe about 30 minutes by doing the opening quest in Season of Opulence. The game will give you a bunch of infusion fodder for you to use, or you can just use it as regular gear. You can do the 690 power boost if you own Forsaken. You don't need the annual pass, but you do need Forsaken. Leveling is still the same. Flashpoints, Strikes, Crucible, Gambit, Raids. There's just a lot of powerful reward sources in the game now that only the most hardcore of players will be able to get to all of those reward sources on all characters in a week. It's really tough to do, even for someone like myself. If you're wondering if it's too late to get back into Destiny, the answer is no. It's not too late. It's never too late. But if you're worried about the current situation or entering late in the yearly cycle, then it's fine to come back during Shadowkeep, especially with all the big systems changes that are coming. You won't have to learn the current systems and then immediately learn the new ones. You'll also, probably, have the ability to boost to this season's current power cap of 750 when Shadowkeep launches. At least if you're a brand new player, you will. But I'm guessing returning players will also have the ability, I'm just not 100% on how it'll work just yet. Should you come back right now, or should you wait until Shadow Keep? That also depends on how invested you are into Destiny. If you're completely 100% brand new, it might not be a bad idea to just wait until Shadow Keep, especially if you don't care about playing anything from the past. Now, if you are interested in Shadow Keep, and do want some experience under your belt first, or maybe want to play some stuff from the past, then hopping in now is totally fine. If you're looking to 
force your way back into Destiny and you're not really enthusiastic about it, my answer to is it worth it is going to be no. No. Don't play something you're not enthusiastic about playing. Why would you do that? If you're someone who used to play by themselves and hoping things got better in that category, eh, I guess maybe it got a little bit better, but not by a ton. Forges are a season of the Forges main activity. That's three man, match made. Not a lot of depth to it. Reckoning is the season of the Drifter activity. Four man match made activity, but again, not the most deep or revered experience. Although the current season has the Menagerie, which is a six man match made activity, which is pretty entertaining, along with having one of the better farming tools we've seen in the game in Chalice of Opulence. However, things like the raid are still no matchmaking, and to me, playing this game alone, even with activity matchmaking on certain things, is not how I would enjoy playing this game. But, some people don't mind playing solo, I don't know what kind of player you are though. If you are looking for people to play with, I would say the number one way to find people is to join Discord servers, usually servers of streamers or YouTubers, and then seeing if they have Destiny groups that are playing. If you're someone who is more interested in the PvP side of the game, then Forsaken is really the only thing that has changed anything for you, where you now have the freedom to put a sniper in your primary and a hand cannon in the energy slot or whatever. Otherwise, PvP has been lacking over the past year and Trials is gone. So, in that case, I would wait until we get more information about what Bungie is doing in Shadowkeep for PvP and there's not much urgency to return right now. If you're just a former player looking to see how things are going, then I would say it's worth a shot trying out the game again. Unfortunately, it looks like you need to buy the Forsaken Legendary Bundle, which is 40 bucks, but it comes with Forsaken and the Annual Pass, but that kind of makes it tough to suggest just buying Forsaken to see how you like it and then buying the Annual Pass later. The next question I get is, should I move to PC? And the answer is, I don't know. Should you? Do you want to? It's a question I have to ask back to people because that's the only way for me to answer this question. My answer is always going to be, play where your friends are. Now that cross save is coming in September, you won't really have to choose anymore. You can move to PC in September if you're on console. Although if you want to play on multiple platforms, you will need to own the copy of the game on every platform you wish to play on. But if you don't care about where your friends are or anything like that, or if you're all moving to PC in September, then I can highly recommend playing on PC. Just know that if you've never played on mouse and keyboard before, that it'll take a little while to get used to unless you are just inherently good at video games or use a PC a lot. The game plays amazingly well on PC, runs very well, does pretty much everything really, really well, and you don't need a super insane computer to play 60 FPS 1080p. You can even play on controller on PC with no problem if you're that worried or if you don't want to use mouse and keyboard but still want higher frame rates. All in all, the questions of is Destiny worth it, should I play Destiny again, and anything in between is ultimately up to you. Destiny 2 is not the Destiny 2 of 2017. It has been made significantly better. If you're looking to dive deeper into the RPG aspects of the game, Shadowkeep will be the place to be, hopefully. Again, I think Destiny is the best it has ever been. I think Forsaken was the game's most recent peak. And if Shadowkeep is solid, it might be Destiny's new peak in terms of quality. That's not to say the game is flawless, but things are pretty good right now as a whole. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped you make some sort of a decision.